We all good? Okay. How's it going, everyone? My name is Nerdrakeeks, and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, where today, I, I got this game. And, well, if you don't know about Enter the Gungeon, it's sort of bind the Binding of Isaac-esque. It's a roguelike, and there it's a, it's a dungeon that's filled with guns. Henceforth, a gungeon. So let's get into it. Uh, here we've got my little doodad, he, he's, I picked the marine class, cause up in the corner there you can see I've got this little piece of armor that's gonna protect me a bit more. Um, you've got your health up there, uh, you got keys to open chests, uh, bullet shells are the currency, and these, um, these blue bullets here are blanks. If you use a blank, it, um, takes away all projectiles in the room for a short period of time. So that, that's useful in like boss fights and stuff. So let's get into it. It's randomly generated just like the Binding of Isaac for those of you who know. And we've got our standard enemies. It's a ghost with a Tommy gun. Th these aren't the standard enemies. The this is one of the more special ones. As you can see, these are our standard enemies. They're little bullets with revolvers. I find them hilarious. And those little orange or those real red pellets are your standard enemy bullet. Let's keep going. You can flip over tables, use them for cover. See, that's a shotgun that has a shotgun. Or a shotgun bullet that has a shotgun. My bad. Shotguns are vicious ones if, you, if they back you into a corner. So, this game was released on Steam not too long ago. And, but I find it to be very... I, f I find it to be very addicting. And very... It's so, mu it's so cool. The animations look smooth, and I like the animation style. Um... It's got, it's got such an addictive um, aspect to it, and I love it. Uh, if you can dodge roll by clicking right click conveniently, left click is shoot, obviously. Um, right click will, uh, for the first half of your dodge roll, you'll be invincible to all bullets. So that's like your primary method of dodging fire. You get it? Whereas in Isaac, you had no form of dodging whatsoever, unless you had the holy mantle. Well, that wasn't exactly perfect dodging. So these grenades are suiciders. Better kill him fast. And these guys, these books here, will try to spell out things and kill you with them. Which I found to be quite creative in a sense. Now, unlike Isaac, again, this is like Isaac, but different in so many ways. We've got these, like, checkpoints. So if, let's say, I'm far away in the dungeon, but don't want to walk back to my starting point, I can take a teleporter between places. And if I go to the teleporter I was last at and click E on it, it will teleport me back to where I teleported from. So, a convenient little teleporting system there. That's very nice. Very, very nice. This is, this is just an overview of the game. So, this is going to be where the boss is. I'm going to come back to it. Because, um, kind of like Isaac, um, there's an item room on each floor. Or two item rooms, usually. In case you get something bad. No, Suicider. Well, there goes my armor. Uh, the soldier starts out with, or marine, sorry, starts out with some armor. I can get it back, though, from, like, a shop or somewhere. So, yeah, this ro this is rogue, this is a roguelike, but similar to Isaac in the fashion where you can still unlock more things between runs. Um, I've never made it past the third gungeon, or the third level of the gungeon, which is, because, you'll, I, the first, uh, floor is, like, uh, Binding of Isaac level bosses, and then they go just above and beyond that on so many levels. Yes, you can push barrels too, which I find to be very nice. Very, very nice. Yes. But there are a lot of cool, interesting mechanics that are developed uh, uh, within floor to floor, and you've got lots of collapsible materials and all that. It's perfect. You can push around tables, all that good jazz. This game is well crafted, I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, so this is one of your item rooms, you have to use a key up there to open the chest. Um, Shades Revolver, someone loses an eye. Oh, this was one of the bullet twin revolvers, I know what this does. Oh, no it's not. Hang on. So if you hit I for inventory, this little book here pops up, and you can see all of your items and what they do. Let's see what this gun does. Uh, the Cooler Bullet Brothers handgun, the barrel has 17 notches carved along its length, and somewhat, uh, incongruously, gruous, incongruously, uh, a picture of a smiling bullet kid. Alright. Oh my. 
Uh, anyone who uses this handgun would look pretty cool. So is it just like increased damage or something? I don't know. Uh, some guns are really unique in their own sense. That's the shop. Some some guns can be really unique in their own sense, and it's really cool. I like this game a fair amount. Are Oh, these are the big guys. These are big, vicious guys. As you can see, they've got one attack, and it is to swing their sword. Oh, it does do more damage. It's because usually those guys are really tanky. Okay, I'll save that one for the boss fight. But yes, I think you can hold an infinite amount of guns. Just use scroll wheel to switch between them. Autos reload, but it auto reloads if you run out of bullets. Which is nice. I found that to be very appreciative. Oh, we've got a bullet kin with an AK. That's the name of the standard bullet enemies. They're called bullet kin, I believe. You can see where an enemy is spawning by those little death crosshairs, which are really nice. See that there? Oof! That, today I'm not exactly on par. I need to get get a, need to get in gear. Get him. So yes, um, unlike Isaac enemies, which are completely stupid, these enemies will not only shoot for you, but they'll shoot for explosive barrels that are near you. So, like, they will shoot for explosive barrels, not just you will shoot for explosive barrels. These enemies are smart, which I like. Ooh, it appears there's a barrel in the way. That looks dangerous. Can I push it again? Oh, I just rolled through it. Genius! Oh, there are no chandeliers. Sometimes this floor... Uh, I'm not sure where chandeliers exactly come into play, but... Um, you can shoot out chandeliers and they fall down. It's great. It's great. Ooh, heart. So yes, it's, the health system is very similar to Isaac in the sense that... You can have half hearts and whole hearts. And I like how the hearts are made of bullets if you look closely. That's very nice. We've got our other uh, item here on the floor. Let's see what they do. In the Ammonomicon, allows uh, Gungeoneer to keep their footing even when great force is applied to them. Oh, so does that mean I can't suffer from knockback or... I'm guessing? I don't know what that's about. Let's teleport to the boss and let's go fight him. Let's see who we got here. Ooh, it appears that we have none other than the Bullet King. There he is. I like how they have a little cutscene like this, like Isaac does. It's like Isaac in a lot of senses, but it's so unique in its own sense. So as you can see, the bosses are just going to be massive bullet hells. These guys, this is one of the easiest bullet hells. And if you thought it looked easy, it's hard. It's hard to get good at this game. I've been at it for like four hours, four or five hours, and it's not fun. It's not fun to get good, but once you get good, it's a lot of fun. Oh no! Crosshairs, what are you doing? So as you can see, this game can be very mean. I just used one of my blanks, which as I, as you can see, eliminated all the bullets. Because I don't want to risk death just yet. I don't want to look like a massive fool just yet. And there's the Bullet King dead, and there's me almost dead, because I couldn't move my freaking cursor. Thanks. So these are the these little green things are just currency that can be used outside your standard match. Oh hi little squire. I know what you'd do if I walk near you. I can try. Gamma ray mean green. I know what this one does. The gamma ray is just a giant laser that does poison damage. It's quite awesome. So now we're gonna go down a level. Uh hype for the new advanced warfare game. Uh the the uh, Pre-orders came out just on the Xbox Marketplace today. I saw that in my meantime, in my free time. Uh, just fixing something, sorry. Um, in my free time, yeah, I got to that. Um, come on. See, this gun isn't really good in the early stages. It's better for bosses. So for now, we're going to use the, uh, whatever it's called, Shades Revolt. We'll use that one for now. So yes, there are a variety of guns in this game, in this game. Hence why it's the Gungeon. Ah, uh, I like how everything's gun themed. 
well, uh, almost everything. As you can see, the elevators were shotgun shells, which I found to be quite humorous. Hello, sir. Goodbye, cube. Er, yeah, so all the enemy enemies and stuff are very well animated. Here's a shop that I didn't bother going into last time because I didn't need anything. I'll buy a full heart. Thank you for your patronage. Yes. See, this guy's got an awesome mustache. And he's awesome. Alright, let's go take these guys out. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, his, his attack is very hard to dodge. Uh, once you've eliminated all the enemies for in the room, all the currency will go to you. I hate these guys. These guys here in the middle. Because their bullets will seek onto you. After firing. And they're invincible unless they're fired. Okay, I got rid of them. They're called like Iron Maidens or something. They're really annoying. Okay, let's take them out with this. Use the Gamma Ray some more. Oh no! As you can see, by the enemies turning green, it signifies that they're taking poison damage. And I, as of now, have 47 uh, bullet shells, which are the currency, as I had stated prior. As you can see, this game is very fun. I, I recommend getting it. It's it's pretty worth the money you get it for on Steam. It's like 16 bucks. It's pretty good. And I do believe it's still up for updates. Down for updates. Up for updates. If it's not, it's still a good game. Don't hate. Discriminate. Oh, I need to come back with the key. Let's head to the shop real quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's buy a key. Key for 30. Then we can head back through the telly, get right back to that chest. Hello, chest. Ooh, the blunderbuss shoots anything. Okay, let's see how this one works. As I, as I stated prior, it's not exactly... Most of this stuff is completely random, so I have no clue how most of the guns here work. I just know how a few work through my playtime. So, it seems the blunderbuss, tr uh, true to nature, is a, is just a giant shotgun that does a lot of damage at close range. Okay, so those shotgun shells have a chance of exploding on death. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that is a f max ammo, essentially, for one of your guns. America, don't be interrupting my play games. So here we've got the Gorgon, I believe. And I often die to her. She's mean. The Gorgon. As you can see, most of the uh, enemies in this game are gun... Or most, most of the bosses in this game have gun-based puns for names. Yeah, as you can see... Um, remember how uh, the previous boss was hard? In this game, every boss is a big bullet hell. You thought the hush was a bolt hell? Look at this. Look at this. It is so hard to dodge her attacks. Ah, crap. I keep taking damage. Unnecessary damage at that. Oh, man. I'm going to die to this one. I hate that attack. There's no way getting around it. There's no way I'm getting that close. Oh, I died. So as you can see, when you die, you just get kind of shot with a sniper rifle. That's cool. So as you can see, I was killed by the Gorgon. Uh, let's do another run, because why not? You know? Uh, that green currency that I picked up from the um, Bullet King, it is uh, cross-run transferable, so no need to worry about like getting back to the surface or the the shop rather to spend it so as you can see I'm back with the marine starting gear which is his standard military grade pistol uh, the base weapon for all characters has infinite ammo so that's good not infinite clip that would be a bit overpowered uh, some characters start out with two weapons one of which being the more powerful of the two but also consumes ammo so that's a thing but each character will always have a weapon that you can't get rid of that has infinite ammo. That is something that a character must always have, so you don't run out of ammo, you know? Uh, these guys are just basic necromancer dudes. 
pick up another armor piece. Now we've got two armor pieces. Uh, armor pieces are like black hearts in Isaac, in the sense that when they're destroyed, they do damage and they and they fade away and you can't get them back. So yeah, they're kind of like soul hearts, but they're black hearts because you know, as you can see, these guys with the swords are not the friendliest of people. Dodge. Those dodging mechanics are glorious. As you can see, the game can be difficult, and every room is difficult. You gotta be patient with this game. You can't be all really nilly Isaac style. You have to be patient. For sometimes, your entire run will depend on what you get from an item. Hi. Run! Oh, jeez, that was close. Clutch Master. Nope. Okay, I think I got this guy. I think I got him. As you can see, all rooms, just like Isaac, are locked until you defeat all enemies in the room. Alright, these slimes will break up into two a couple times, and then you can shoot them to death. Uh, which is handy. If they die quickly, it is handy and convenient for my, um, for my predicament, let's call it. But as you can see, tables have durability. Dang, that guy with the AK is not being my friend right now. Stop it! Okay. Now I can just take this guy out and we'll go along our merry ways, eh? Oh, we, oh yay, a bunch of suiciders. Just what I needed. Okay. Oh, I'm tossing around that guy's body. That's hilarious. If you guys saw that. So again, the recording may not be working, and I, you might just be seeing me clicking around my desktop. That would be interesting. Uh, there's a blank for me. Yeah, you can find blanks naturally through the dungeon or buy them at the shop. Blanks can be very useful during some boss fights. Though I like to save them for, like, the second floor boss fights. Because as you can see, it is a massive amount of pain to fight the Gorgon. Um, oh, that's a spine that's also an AK-47. That's, that's clever. I might come back for that. I haven't actually got that one yet. Okay, let's teleport over there. We got a teleport at the shop. Yep. So we're all good. Oh, God. Dodge, dodge roll, dodge roll everywhere. Okay. So far, we have not taken a, taken a hit yet, which is very impressive. For my skillage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. As you can see, like... We got ourselves... Sorry, it's hard to concentrate and play this game. Very hard to concentrate and play the game. So, Advanced Warfare is out. Which is cool. Advanced... Or, not Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare has been out. Brain, where have you been going this entire time? Um, Infinity Warfare is coming out. You can buy the pre-order now. Uh, if you buy it now, you get a hundred or a thousand COD points in game. Uh, ammo capacity up. I'm assuming that's the only thing it does, but let's check it out. Ammo capacity is increased. Okay, so we get increased ammo on every gun we get from now on. That is nice and good and nice and good. Uh, we need late, like 50 something for that AK. So I'm going to see if I can rack up 50 points before I head down further into the dungeon. But yeah, you can buy Infinity Warfare now, you can pre-order it. Uh, sadly, only Modern Warfare comes in the bundle. As a, but I don't see why so many people are hating on Infinity Warfare, when all they've seen is the campaign trailer. Like, the campaign trailer that doesn't even include gameplay. Like, for crying out loud. Give it a chance, guys. Wait till there's some actual gameplay before you hate on it like a madman. Just because it isn't Modern Warfare doesn't mean it's not going to be good. That's all my opinion is on the subject. But, on the bright side... Uh, what was I going to say? I can come back to that later. Uh, on the bright side of things, on the bright side of the spectrum, you will be getting um, your... Um, Modern Warfare, for those of the, for those tryhard Modern Warfare fanboys who just want the basic gun fighting, 
you, you can still get that if you buy Infinite Warfare. So that's a thing. Even if you hate Black Ops, and, which is you're ridiculous if you hate the Black Ops games. I don't know what's wrong with you, but um, you you can still get your hands on a copy of Modern Warfare Remastered. So that's going to be interesting, I think, for some of you. I've never personally liked Modern Warfare, but that's just personal opinions. I will not further my the subject on any of it. Ooh, jeez, this guy is being vicious today. So, um, they're like a variation of three different bosses you can get on each floor. But we've just happened to get the Bullet King twice in a row for the first floor. As you can see, they can combine attacks together and be rather vicious. The Bullet King is one of the easier of the first floor bosses. This game is ridiculously cool. Okay, now we're kicking... We've gone through, blown through our armor. You've just got to be very conscious of where bullets are at all times. I know that the Bullet King is guaranteed to drop health upon death. So, I'm not worrying too much about his boss fight. Alright, alright. Oh, I hate that attack. I hate that attack where he sends out like a cluster bomb. Fire has her uh, damage over time effects, like fire, have an interesting effect in this game. Um, it doesn't instantly do fire damage. There's like a bar above you that starts heating up, and if it gets full, you take a half a heart of fire damage. You have to roll to keep yourself from dying. Like, a dodge roll puts out the fire, you know, like, stop, drop, and roll. Which I found to be, to be very creative. Have a very creative aspect. Alright, Bullet King is done. One gun, son. Okay, there's two. There's that. There's... Ho! Oh. Ho ho! This looks fun. Hey, you! Oh, you are going to be uh, my best friend. We'll just take you out. I'm not going to go back and buy anything. As you can see, the uh, elevators are shotgun shells, which I really like about this game. I just like the whole over-the-top gun theme to it. It's so fun. So fun! Oh... I really hope you guys can see this because I love recording it. But if we go down a floor, I met this guy a few dungeons ago. Um, where, here he is. If I bring him certain stuff, he might be able to make, allow the elevators to go upwards again. So he says, I need 120 bullet uh, shells and three keys. If you find them, bring them here. So I need all of those by this floor. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a pain to try and get our hands on Okay, that's going to uh, essentially win the boss fight if we can keep it, save it till then. So for now, I'm just going to use, you know, your standard uh, military pistol that the Marine comes standard with. I haven't shown off any other characters, simply because I don't think they're that great. But yeah, each enemy has um, enemies that are exclusive to that floor, um, and enemies that carry on to uh, well, upcoming floors. This guy doesn't hurt people, he's just, he just uh, provides a status effect. I really hope I can get my hands on three keys, because I know I'm going to get my hands on enough money for the job. Hi. This is going to be a bad person to get rid of. You die. You should die now. You should die now. Okay. I had to get rid of my armor, but I got rid of it. That Iron Maiden is an absolute bad person to deal with. Alright, keep her going. Keep her going. As you can see, going along fairly nicely. We've got... They're so cool, though. I like how, how cutesy and, like, freaking awesome they look. With their little guns and their bullets, and it's ironic. Ah, oh, this game is so cool. Go get it. Go get it. I love it. The dodge rules are perfect. Oh, God. They're cornering me. Help. Help. Oh, crap. That ghost is taking... That ghost is being a prick. There you go. Get out of my house, boy. Okay, where are you? 
There you are. Die. All right, grenades incoming. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing well at all in health. It's probably because I'm using a bad weapon. Starting pistol becomes a bit hard to use on the later floors. Okay, this guy is just going to shoot some stuff at us and teleport around the place. Massive douche. All right. Oh, this is the gun muncher. Uh, we need two guns and then it, um, it combines two guns to make uh, another gun. A different gun. Sorry. So if you have two crap guns that you don't want, that's the gun to use. Or er, thing to use. I know where you were. So these little bullet guys, I'm not sure how they um, intend to hurt people, but apparently they do something to hurt you? I don't, I'm not sure what. Oh god, that's going to make my life really difficult. Or not. Okay, so we officially have one key and 121. My goal for this round is to be able to get that um, quest done. You know, with where I have to get 121 bullet shells, and I'm going to switch over to this because I really don't want to die. And three keys. And yes, you have to get them both. Because I tried doing it without, and it, it, it didn't work. Surprise, surprise, it didn't work. Oh, this ghost is not screwing off. Go away! Go away, you horrible thing. That's what they should say to me. Because I'm the one who entered the gungeon. So the plot behind this is that there's a gun at the end of the gungeon that is supposed to uh, wreak work. I just fell to my death, didn't I? I did. Ow. So, yeah, the plot behind this, it's not very fulfilling, but apparently there's a gun that can destroy the past. Don't ask me how that works. Oh, we'll play one more round. This time we're going to try to get to floor three just so I can show you how ridiculous it is. I'm not going to even go for the quest. Um, but, uh, destroy by any, there's a gun that can destroy the past because apparently the hero or some bad guy did something bad in the past. So a bunch of people are, are entering the gungeon to attempt to go back to the past where this bad guy didn't do all the bad things. Peesh. <laughs> I don't know how it can destroy the past, but it can. I really hope it's one of the weapons in the game so I can just annihilate face. All right. Hmm. Interesting topics. Interesting topics. Oh yeah. For those of you who had the season pass, um, like me, myself, and I, um, I'm sure not many other people got it, but it, I'm not sure if this is available on PS4. But for Xbox users, whoever got the season pass. For Xbox, for, yeah, for Xbox users who've got the season pass, um, COD has given those who got the season pass 10 free rare supply drops, a guaranteed special legendary weapon from, from an advanced supply drop, or rare supply drop, sorry, and 10 liquid diviniums. That's pretty good. They're like, hey, you've been a pre-order person. So we're going to give you 10 supply drops, we're going to give you another supply drop that gives you um, a guaranteed knife or special weapon. Ooh, what's this do? Uh, active, active reload. Enables active reload. What's that do? Oh, like Gears of War reload. Okay. So if I hit it on the dot, it speeds up my reload? It does. Oh, that's cool. So, like, sort of Gears of War style, where if you get it on the dot, it, um, makes it so you reload faster. That's real nice. I like that one. Interesting mechanic. At worst, you just miss it, and, um, it's standard reload time, so that's good. As you can see, you can roll over gaps. Makes sense. 
I probably will forget to do it a lot of times. Because I'm too busy focused on getting rid of the enemies. It's hard to multitask in this game. Like, some of these second level bosses are so insanely hard. I've beaten the, um, Gorgon before, believe it or not. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? Rolling eye back at you. Oh, I know what the rolling eye does. So essentially, if you dodge over a bullet, it uh, fires back at its owner. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's keep moving. Through the gungeon. Crap. That active reload is hard to do. Alright. Ooh. Those kamikazes can really be hard to dodge. So yeah, let me know your opinions on the new COD coming out. I want to know. I want to see what's going on here. Who thinks what. And don't just be a bandwagon hater. Don't just be like, well, because the mainstream hates it, I have to hate it. Don't be one of those guys. Don't be one of them. If you like it, don't let anyone else tell you you don't, you don't like it. Because personally, I think it looks like a good game. They even played Space Odyssey. <laughs> In the trailer, they played Space Odyssey. Uh... Uh, I liked it. I like the trailer. It looks cool. I like... I, I just think it's so cool how they could take it to space, but make it feel like the same COD. I want a COD in space. Because I'm one of those people who loves space. I'm a space fanatic. I'm all the way there. Oh! I just... I would love one in space. Like, just imagine all the cool things you could do with a space mechanic. And do it accurately. That means not like freaking ghost space. Like, that's what everyone's assuming it's going to be like. All the haters think, oh, it's just going to be ghost space where it's going to be just a few levels of crap. Just gunfights in space. It makes no difference. You can do a lot of things in space. Like what the one of the creators mentioned, or the managers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they mentioned that you were over close to the sun looking for resources and asteroids and it was towards the point where you have to take cover to to avoid a 2000 degree heat like killing everything about you that is you so not only are, are you taking cover from bullets behind asteroids you would be taking cover behind asteroids or taking no yeah you'd be taking cover not only would you have to worry about taking cover from bullets you would literally have to take cover or you would get fried in the sun that sounds like a cool mechanic they're like oh it's been done before not to the scale that they're doing it like imagine a giant spaceship battle like star wars except it actually was semi-realistic that would be so cool me personally i think that would be so cool like a massive dog fight don't tell me that wouldn't be cool, because you would be lying. Don't lie to yourself. It's cool. I promise. Okay, let's buy a ton of armor. Just be that guy. I d he doesn't like you shooting in a shop. If he does, if you do shoot in the shop, he'll like pull out a shotgun and mow you down until you get out of the shop. Then you won't be able to buy anything in any uh, future shops. So that's why I decide to stay very passive about things. Oh, here's a different first floor boss. I'll let you enjoy the, the starting animation of this guy. Well, that's right. It's it's a bird, but it's no ordinary bird. I'd like to introduce you to the Gatlingo. This guy is insane, and he's annoying. Where are you? This is his easiest attack, believe it or not. Because it's the time when he's the most vulnerable. This attack is the worst, especially when he charges at you. Because there's no escaping it. Well, uh, that's not what the gameplay is saying right now. That's the easy attacks, too. Oh, no. I got hit again. But, yeah, he just charges at you. This is actually a lot easier than I remember now that I'm thinking about it. Jeez, but as you can see, when he gets gets up close, it gets really hard to dodge. Oh, I so badly want you to land near that chandelier so I can pull the trigger. 
pull the trigger on the chandelier? He's sending out missiles from his throat. I just want to... I just want to state that that's a thing that happened. Quickly! Hit the lever! Oh, I didn't do it in time. Yeah, I've got this. I'm not going to have any in my armor, but I've got this. I know what that does. Oh no, oh no. You see how unescapable that is? So ridiculous. Okay, I got him. Rip him, I guess. Alright. Phoenix. Alright, so this one shoots uh, flames out of the gun that also damage. So that's a thing. Oops, I accidentally turned caps locks on. Caps locks? Brain, where are you today? <laughs> Brain. Work, please. Do not, we've got a key. Let's go over here and use it on this chest. Ooh, what are you? Light gun third party. Oh? What? Did it just shoot a duck for the last bullet? It did shoot a duck. Hmm. Let me see what I can find out about this gun. Each clip finishes with a homing bird. Okay. I'll roll with it. Let's head back. Go down further into the gungeon. I want to try and beat the second floor boss this time. It looks like we've got a chance. It looks like we have a chance, but secretly we're about to get screwed over. Oh boy. So guns are so creative in this game. I haven't, I've shared all, barely any of the game so far. Like there's so many creative guns and unique guns. And it's guntastic. Okay, we've got three guns. As you can see, this is a bit broken where you can just shoot through the walls. Guns like the Phoenix gun are especially useful for when you're fighting the big guys like him where it takes a long time in between the attacks. Oh, I don't like these guys. Get attacked by my homing duck. So those bats are just suiciders. They're just a bunch of suiciders. They don't do anything. Oh, I really hate these guys. Okay, I got rid of all of them. That active reload, though, I like it. Okay, just gotta concentrate, and I can be awesome. So as you can see, I've got four blanks for our fight with the second level boss. I'm confident that I can do it. Very confident. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a chest room there. Literally, we just went in a circle. Nice job. Nice job, me. Flip over the tables because we're mad about things. Where is this? Oh. As you can see, they will aim for the barrel sometimes, making them semi intelligent. Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden. A poisonous Iron Maiden? I think it's this crap game. Game. Oh, I hate you so much. Game! Game! Why do you do the things that you do? Like, legit, this is so hard. It's ridiculously hard. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull out the duck gun. Duck gun! The duck gun is doing jack to the squat. Okay, I did it. I did it. That was a thing. Ow! How did I die to him? Ah, so I guess it's gonna cut it for today's video. That's Enter the Gungeon. It's a little game. I'm sorry, it wasn't too concept. Uh, killed by Gun Gun Singer. Okay, so apparently he killed me somehow. Not sure how, but he did. Um, 
it's a very Binding of Isaac like, except it is way harder. It is way harder than the Binding of Isaac. Uh, except Hush. Hush is really difficult for BS reasons. Um, hmm. Trying to think here. Sorry, this wasn't the most content filled video. Uh, I know. Oh, let's go to the breach. The breach is sort of your home base. I know it wasn't the most content filled video because you have to concentrate in this game in order to do anything and not fail instantly. It takes a lot of brain power. So this is the breach. It's kind of like your own place. That's the tu tu the, the tutorial over there. Uh, that's the guy who fixes the elevators there. These are the guys who guard the gates to the entrance. This is the entrance of the dungeon. Afternoon, guys. Another round. And this is the store where you spend your little blades here that you get from defeating bosses. So, you, so these unlock new things that you can get throughout the dungeon. Uh, let's get... Let's see what we can get here. Um, anything that was worth seven? No, just eight. Okay. Uh, let's get... Let's get... I don't like that one. That one doesn't look cool enough. That one also doesn't look cool enough. You look cool enough. Let's buy you. Uh, flash ray unlocked. Thank you for your patronage. I'm uncertain as to my purpose here. So I unlocked these guys from... I unlocked these guys from a cage somewhere in the dungeon and on the second floor of the dungeon. And now they work at a shop where I can buy things. So that's cool. You unlock things throughout time, which is awesome. So that's Enter the Gungeon for now. Um, tell me uh, if you want to see any more of this. Tell me if you want to see different things. I don't know. There are a few other characters here that I didn't go over. Because uh, stuff. Um, but, yeah. Enter the Gungeon. Go for it. It's awesome. Peace out.